Legacy Life kiddos and families, we are so happy to see you today. When we know that you guys are watching at home, it just makes us just so happy. And today with me, y'all know Miss Shuri, but I wanted to bring Miss Shuri on screen with me today because Miss Shuri and I are friends. We're actually really good friends. But you know what? If it weren't for Sea Life and for church and God, we wouldn't know each other. We met at church. So today we're talking about friends that you meet through God, that God brings friends into your life. And you know what? We've actually gotten to know each other so well. We went across the United States together, but then we even traveled to Ghana, Africa together. We've been all over the world because God brought us to be such good friends. All right, right now it's time for us to say our memory verse. And it's talking about friends too, how we may look different, but we can all come together as one. Y'all say hi to Miss Kylie and Miss Kim as they come do our memory verse. Remember, this is from the Bible. So we know these words are true and right. We can believe them because they are God's words for us. This verse is talking about being friends and being different, but all working together for Jesus. Here's our memory verse. It says, we are many, but in Christ, we are all one body. Romans 12, five. Let's go over the memory verse motions. So we say, we, we're gonna point to ourselves and make a circle. We are many, so these are the people, we are many. We are many, but in Christ, point up to God, we are one body. We're gonna close our hands together and fold them around each other. Then for Romans 12, five, we're gonna make our Bible. It's found in Romans 12, five. All right, let's put it all together, ready? We are many, but in Christ, we are all one body. Romans 12, five. Awesome job, one more time. We are many, but in Christ, we are all one body. Romans 12, five. Good job, we are many different people, but when we are Christ, we are all one. See you next week. Friends, you are doing such a good job with our memory verse. It's so good that we can join together to do things for Jesus. Do you know what I like to do with my friends? I like to dance and sing. And my friends, sometimes they laugh at me because I dance and sing as I'm walking around. But right now, I want, I want to make sure everybody's standing up for our song, Good Good Friend. Remember, this is an echo song, so I want you to have fun with it. Let's all say hi to our friends Lauren and Caroline as they come do the song for us. Yay!
Y'all did such a great job singing. It's so fun to sing songs to Jesus. And isn't it amazing that Jesus wants to be our friend? You know what? Why don't we tell him thank you for everything he does for us? Let me see your ready fingers. Ready? One, two, three. God our Father, God our Father, we thank you, we thank you for our many blessings. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. All right, now I want to make sure everybody's sitting down and ready because we have another special friend. And you know what? Today's the first day that she shared with us on our videos. <gasps> Are you so excited? Um... I wonder if you can guess her name. Probably not because you don't know who she is. <laughs> but you know what? She's one of my friends and she's another friend that I met through church. Her name is Miss Elise and she's from our Kaufman campus. I want everybody to say a hi and a loud hello to Miss Elise. Hi, Miss Elise. Hi friends, welcome back. It's so good to see all of you. Well, today I had a big question for you. Do any of you have a best friend? You do? What is their name? Can you tell me their name? Oh, I love that. I love their name. That's a wonderful name. Well, guess what? What if you had like 12 best friends? <gasps> Can you imagine 12 best friends? That is so cool. That is what Jesus did in our Bible story today. I want you to imagine if you got to pick your 12 very best friends. Now I know you might not be able to see them all right now, and I know that that can be really sad sometimes and really hard, but let's just try to imagine that when we get to come back to church, you get to pick 12 of those best friends. I wonder who you would pick. Hmm. Well today in our Bible story, that's exactly what Jesus was doing. This is my Bible, and what do we know about the Bible? The Bible is God's Word. Yes, and very good. The Bible is God's word, and we know that the Bible is always true, good, and the Bible is always right, perfect. So let's take a look about our, in our Bible today on what their story is all about. Today our Bible story is found in Luke chapter 6, and it starts in verse 12. This is what it says. In these days, he, talking about Jesus, went out to the mountain to pray. And all night he continued in prayer to God. Hmm, I wonder what he was praying to God about. Did you know that Jesus prays too? And if Jesus prays too, that to his own Father, to God, then we know that we can pray to God too. Remember, Jesus had to pick his 12 very best friends. These were people that he wanted to go out and do God's work with him. So he had a big decision to make and he was so unsure on who these people were going to be, but he knew he needed to make the best choice possible. So he decided to pray and he was really worried about it. He was praying all night long, asking God, can you please help me pick the right friends to have? So the next morning he had made his choice. He knew that God had helped him along the way when he was praying all night long and he had a big announcement to make. He knew who these 12 best friends were gonna be. He said that these men were going to be called apostles. Can you say apostle? That is so cool, apostle. That means that those were people and those were men that Jesus was gonna go all around preaching the news, the good news of the gospel to. And he was going, those 12 apostles were going to help him do God's work. So Jesus had made his choice. He knew who these 12 men were going to be. He knew that they were very special men and that God was going to help them do their job. So he went, the, the next verse in our Bible tells us this, that down the mountain he came in the morning. He woke up in the morning after he'd been praying all night and he knew exactly who those 12 people were going to be. And he called them out by name. <gasps> Listen to what they called. These were all of their names said called out for Simon and Peter, Andrew and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James and then the last two were Simon 
and Judas. He called them all out by name. God loves you so much too and he calls you by name every day. Just like Jesus called out these 12 apostles by name. So these were these 12 men that God had chosen. And from that day on, their lives were changed forever. They were Jesus' very best friends that were going to go and do God's work with them. They even were given the power to heal other people. That is so cool. They were able to preach the good news and they were going to be healing other people because God gave them the power to do that. That is so amazing that we can have friends to come along with us and do God's work with us, just like Jesus did. Okay, remember back to when we were talking about who these 12 friends that you might pick to come to Sea Life with you for the first time when we come back? Well, I have this big book, and this big book was given to me on a very special day, and it has a lot of my very best friends in them, lots of pictures, and they even wrote me little letters. And this book is so special to me because they are from my very best friends. And they were writing nice things to me to help me feel good and to help me when I was sad. And they were doing so helpful for me. I love this book. This book is from a very best friend of mine with a whole bunch of pictures. I wonder if maybe you could do the same thing with your best friends. When you choose how your 12 friends or however many you want, we can always pray and ask God to help you make those choices and to decide, hey, who is going to be my best friends, God? God, who should I bring into my life that could be a new friend for this year? Maybe they don't look like you. Maybe they don't talk like you or they don't live by you. And that's all okay. As long as we ask God to help us, He will help us make the very best choices on friends, just like He did with Jesus. Okay guys, now we have a couple questions to ask you. Number one, what did Jesus do before He chose those 12 apostles, those 12 best friends? What did He do? Yes, that's right, He prayed. He prayed all night long. He was asking God to help Him. Very good. Okay, question number two. How many apostles did Jesus choose? Mm -hmm. Yes, he chose 12. 12 of those apostles to be his best friends and to help him. Good. Now, did those 12 apostles, did he call them by name? Mm -hmm. He sure did. He woke up in the morning, he walked down the mountain, and he called them all out by name. Very good. Okay, and another question. Did those friends, did they help Jesus to be able to go and do God's work? Yes, they did. God gave them the power to go and heal other people and the words to say to help preach God's gospel to other people. That is amazing. Thank you, friends. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and pray and ask Jesus and God to help us make those awesome choices on friends. Ready, ready, ready? Here we go. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for such a wonderful day where we get to learn how you were able to choose your very best friends. Thank you that you showed us that we can pray and that we can ask God to help us make those choices. Jesus, I pray right now for all of our friends that they are able to think about who those very special best friends are for them. And I ask us that we will all remember to pray to you and ask you to help us make those choices, no matter where they are, no matter what they look like. God, I ask that we will all be ready to make new friends this year. Thank you so much for your power and your strength and your, able, your ability to teach us brand new things. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday with your family and that you get to pick those 12 friends really soon. Have a great day. Miss Elise, thank you for telling us about Jesus and his many friends. God has given us great friends. And when we can go all out together, we can tell other people about Jesus. Y'all, I'm just so glad that we have God to show us how to make good friends. That's just wonderful. And you know what? You can make friends too. It doesn't have to be in person right now, but you could write somebody a letter. Maybe you could send them a video of yourself just saying, 
Hi, it's fun to do those kinds of things. Parents, remember, you can go to clifec.com slash parents and you can find our lesson with an activity and a craft to continue the conversation at home. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We love you and we hope to see you soon. Bye.